Push the dates back of the show. It's not the 12th anymore, it's the 14th. Some of the other actors still don't know their lines, but Mr. Miliani says that I've got real potential. Freddie, are you and Dad going camping? What's with the sleeping bags by the door? Don't you have a game this weekend? Ready? If this is a joke, it isn't funny. Grandma? Grandma?
Oh, hello. Good evening, ma'am. We're sorry to bother you so close to dinner, but we'd like to speak to you on a matter of grave importance. Oh my, is everything all right, sirs? We're conducting an investigation, an investigation into- We're detectives, detectives Atticus and Miliani. Yes, yeah, and we're looking into a uh, disappearance. Oh my. A young lady. She used to live here. Now, you're not going to be cross-examined or anything. Oh no, of course not. we just like to come in, look around, ask a couple of questions. We don't mean to intrude, ma'am. Oh no, of course. I, gosh, I just moved in a little while ago and this whole area is just foreign to me. I had no idea about any sort of... What was it you said? Disappearance? Oh, please, please, come in. You live alone, ma'am? Yes. I think so. Who's the gentleman in the photo? My father. Hmm. He get to this place? Yes. What's he do for a living? Got to be a pretty wealthy guy, right? Successful. Definitely, yes. I'm really happy. I call him a that.
So what happened? To this poor girl? Serfs. Well, here's the thing, miss. You see, we don't really know. Sometimes people go missing or disappear without any hint of practical reasoning or motive. They just vanish and no one knows why. That's what keeps us in business, you could say. Our, our job is to make them reappear, find them, <laughs> or at any rate, ascribe some sort of coherent causality to the disappearance. Oh, uh, please, please sit. It was a big commotion, the whole thing. Young girl. Real beautiful, one they say. Real doughy-eyed. Listen to this. The neighbor on the left was up late working. Saw nothing. He never left. The neighbor on the right was up early gardening. Saw nothing. She was gone, just gone. My word. This was all a couple of years ago, of course. Fairly typical sort of cold case. The remaining family has hired us in a sort of Last ditch effort to chase down any loose ends. We have nothing really. Normal girl, just gone one day. Well, she had a history of mild social anxiety and was tested for ADHD, but uh, nothing out of the ordinary. Yes, all very ordinary. Young girl named Ingrid, about 16 and blonde and well, as my partner here so eloquently put it, <laughs> doughy-eyed. Well, that is odd. Why is that, miss? What's odd? My name's Ingrid. What a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, that really is spooky, isn't it? It's a very common name, though, isn't it? Well, um, I, I just made some chicken. Would either of you gentlemen care for some? No, not necessary. Not necessary at all, but, well... If you're offering, that would be lovely. And really, our visit here is just a mandatory thing. Don't worry. One of many, many routine stops. Yes, there's really not much for us to go on, uh, except checking old residences, uh, interviewing psychiatrists, interviewing childhood friends, childhood enemies. It, it's as if the girl just evaporated.
We have very little to go on, really. Uh, checking out old residences, interviewing psychiatrists, interviewing old friends, best friends, childhood friends, even childhood enemies. It's as if the girl just evaporated. Thank you. The family really is desperate. And that's our job, you know. We'll ask a couple of questions and be on our way. And now, I gotta say, this is quite a place for a girl your age. Your father must make good money. What does he do for a living? Um, well, I, I'm not sure. We'll be on our way after just a couple of questions. Since moving in, have you noticed anything particularly unusual? Unusual? Yes, unusual. No, not really. Well, no, no, actually, I did have a dog that went missing recently. Frederick. Really? Well, now that is interesting. Tell me, about when did you move in? Well, um, I'd suppose it was around the time of, um, during the, I, I don't remember. But surely you must have some inkling, a, a year, half a year, a year and a half, or even a month. No, I, I don't remember. How odd. Well, now what about your mother? Is she in the picture at all? No, um, my mother, Helen List, passed away quite a while ago. It's just been my father and I ever since. How did your mother pass, if you don't mind me asking? Well, it was a really unfortunate, very terrible sort of thing. A complete and utter accident, of course. But oh, where to begin with it all? With my mother, where can one begin? Well, my mother was very handy, you see. Working with tools, working very often. We'd often joke and poke fun, saying my mom was more man of the house than my father ever was. But surely she wasn't, was she? No. No, of course not. I mean, she worked very, very hard in and out of the house, harder than any of us. But she remained as womanly as ever. All right, she worked hard. No denying she worked hard, but you said he bought you this house. And if he bought you this house, then he must work pretty damn hard, mustn't he? Yes. Yes, I suppose that's true, but... Oh, anyway. Away from my unrelated childhood anecdotes, sentiment, and back to the one at hand. It was a terrible accident. One of those things that could happen to anyone, really. The things that they warn you about on pamphlets and waivers. My father was just trying to help her. My mother, I mean. Repair a woodshed outside using some heavier equipment, electric saws and things like that. And the equipment just went all screwy and hit her right in the back of the head. God, that's really wild, isn't it? Jesus. Do you live alone, miss?
Wait, I... I'm sorry. Wait. Didn't you already ask me that? Oh, of course. My mistake. Why don't you eat something, dear? I'm sure you're famished.
I didn't want you to see me. It wasn't supposed to be like this, you know? But I had no other choice. Everything else I tried fell to pieces. My family was straying. Because, God, your mother. I had to remove you and your brother before it was too late. Before you reached an age where God might hold you accountable for your actions. With you being so determined to pursue acting, Naturally, I was fearful of what that might do to you. Continuing in the faith. I just pray I'm not too late for your innocence. You're good now, you know? You're pure, and you can stay pure. Your grandmother was an unfortunate casualty. Her kindness blinds her to righteousness. It always has. I'm not doing this out of hatred. I don't hate. I'm doing what it takes for my family, as I always have. My relationship with your mother was a product of sin. My youthful ignorance. She's been dragging you, you and Freddy, becoming filthy. Do you think I don't deserve my right to correct what I have created? My word, you are my child. Ready fought too. Get that for me, I guess. You may think I'm a monster, Ingrid. I'm not. I'm a good man. I am. I'm saving you from welfare homes, from hell itself. I knew you wouldn't understand. You never saw things as they were. All you cared about was what I didn't do, what I could have done. You and your mother always, always criticizing me, hating me, when I was the one who Isn't this what you wanted at the end? To be away from it all? From me? Forever? You're all living in your nice little houses. Guess what? I built them. For all your crimes against me. Only God can. 
can absolve you. I'm <laughs> sorry. 